Just one day after a series of strong earthquakes struck off of Sumatra's west coast, life in Aceh has returned to normal. The 8.6 magnitude quakes caused widespread panic, but thankfully little damage on land and no tsunami. According to experts, the warning systems introduced after the devastating tsunami of 2004 have this time proven successful. Many people dead in 2004, tsunami 2004. And now uh, uh, many people, Achenes, uh, have uh, experienced uh, 2004 and uh, Ache have uh, escape building, uh, escape hill to, to evacuation. Schools are now equipped with alarms, while arrows mark out evacuation routes. Students frequently go through emergency drills in preparation for a worst case scenario. But my friends uh, yell, there are earthquakes, so let's go, let's go to the yield, uh, yard, let's go out. So my friends all go out and also me, and at that time I was blacked out. Uh, yeah, but my friend saved me, and when I wake up, I was in the motorcycle with my friend. In the streets of Banda Aceh, one of Indonesia's most quake-prone cities, maps remind citizens where to go in case the alarm is raised. A $130 million tsunami warning system of gauges, deep ocean buoys and seismic monitors has been deployed since 2004 to give experts and residents as much warning as possible. But in despite of all the high-tech warning systems, many Achenese continue to put their faith in a higher force to ensure their protection.